So here we have a thawed out whole fryer chicken. Pat's just seasoning it with steak seasoning. Nice and even. We've got a beautiful view of the lake with our poles in the water and the bells on. Now you know Pat's always ready to run if he hears that bell. <laughs> so he we went ahead and flipped that over getting that season, seasoning nice and even over the whole chicken, under the wings, under the legs. And actually, we're going to get that inside both the top and bottom cavities as well. Making sure to pull out any innards if there are. Pat demonstrating his skills. Mad skills. So for this recipe, you guys, we're gonna be using a brand new vertical rotisserie that we made. Um, so we're really excited to try this out. It's going to be interesting. So yeah, we've got the chicken nice, seasoned up, ready to go. So we'll go ahead and get the charcoal lit. So here it is, guys. This is the rotisserie we made out of an old water tank from a camper, an old rotisserie motor, cut up some metal for plating, a baking sheet, a piece of plywood, and some sawhorses. Um, we've got a car battery below powering the motor, um, and a barbecue grate holding the charcoal in. So we'll go ahead and get that lit. So throughout this process we'll need to keep our uh, charcoal replenished, so we'll have a little can on the side um, burning fresh charcoal every half an hour or so. Yeah, we're excited to see how this works. Here it is, the first lighting. And we'll get our fire going over here with our swing away grate for the sides. Let that charcoal light fully and start turning gray. So for our sides we have diced potatoes, mushrooms, onions, and peppers. All seasoned with seasoning salt and garlic. We're going to put that pan directly into the fire here, um, into the flame, sear it for about a minute, and then we'll go ahead and raise this rack. Put the lid on and let it cook. So we're not sure how long this process will take, so we've just got a thermometer in the top here. Um, this one's been about two and a half hours, almost three hours, and it's just about ready to take off. The skin is looking really good. Um, yeah, here goes nothing. This juice is cooked. I'm eating bugs. Oh, hurry up. <laughs> So we'll just add it to the vegetables here and put the lid on, let that kind of cook and soak up some of the juice, the moisture for 15 minutes, pull it off. And here it is, you guys, uh, it turned out 
Very good, it looks like. Nice and moist, tender, nice crispy skin. Oh, oh falling yeah. apart. Oh. <laughs> Alright, Pete. Trying the wing. Rotisserie mm -hmm. style. This one chicken. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching please if you haven't already hit that like button subscribe mm -hmm. comment below let us know what you think um, stay tuned for more videos this is actually just the first day of our lake trip so we'll be posting another video of the second day um, and this video was actually shot a year ago so we're a little late on posting it but we hope you like it, and we'll see you in the next one. That's cool. Mine just flashed. What you see here is a rotisserie summer sausage. <laughs> Drunk and at the lake. We had all this charcoal left from the chicken, and uh, we got to do something with it. Got to sand. You can't waste the charcoal. <laughs> what do you think of this, Pat? The moth or the chicken? Which moth? This guy? How do you like the chicken moth? Is that good? Yeah. <laughs>